I'm actually pretty psyched right now because I have a very clear story to let you know about the process and the progress of work. We all get it. We have to work. I know you know you have to work. You know you know you have to work. You see other people who are working and having a certain amount of success. Now, there is a lot to having success with what you do, some of which <coughs> is about working, and some of which is knowing which work to do and which work not to do. Right now, I just want to talk about progress and process. You can sometimes picture your end goal. You know what it ought to feel like? <coughs> you even get what type of results you envision. But you know something? Can I share a secret with you? You may or may not get how twisty and turny the progress will be and how many different new things that you need to get the hang of get thrown into the mix, get revealed to you while you are doing what you are doing. <clears throat> and yet, moving forward, once you get it, once you know, once you envision what you want and some of the process, don't trust other people. Don't necessarily take their word for it, saying, yeah, just follow this formula. Formulas are a guideline, and your unique issues may or may not have their own tweaks necessary in order to facilitate your growth. <clears throat> I see a lot of that. I see a lot of that out there. I'm in a group, I have a coach, I have more than one actually. If you're watching me, hopefully you have more than one coach. Hopefully you have one and you're not assuming that that one is the end all be all. Because there are many different aspects to these things. Hopefully you have at least one coach and hopefully you're paying that coach good money to actually be accountable and to hold you accountable. But regardless, let's get, let's understand, let's fully embrace the knowledge that some method has given you insight to paint a picture of what you need to do in order to get from where you are to where you need to be. I have a rowing machine. I have been a little sick. I've been under the weather and now I'm getting better. I was also away for a period of time traveling. And because of that, I have been away from my rowing machine, my daily workout on my rowing machine for five weeks. Has it been more? Yikes. I like that rowing machine. It's, it doesn't, the machine doesn't matter. For me, it's a rowing machine because there are certain aspects to my physiology and the way I can enjoy a workout that compelled me to finally buy a very nice, really well-made rowing machine and it does very well. It has a good reputation. I don't buy something with all the automatic bells and whistles. I buy the low I buy the low end of the best brand every time. I don't need all of, you know, I don't 
I don't need all of the Wi-Fi additions with all the other things. That's not me. Same with my stereo equipment. Same with all sorts of different things. But I got back into my rowing. First time at this recording for you, <coughs> it was yesterday. And I started, and I was feeling fresh, but I was also feeling like I've been away from it for a while, and I do a 30-minute workout. 20 minutes is required for you to actually get your cardio going for you to break a good sweat. It's true. So it needs to be more than 20, but I do a 30-minute workout. Two minutes into it, I was feeling the tired, the exhaustion. I was thinking, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to just call it 10 minutes and that's it for today. Job well done, good enough. <clears throat> and then at uh, seven and a half minutes, see, I have a timer on the machine itself so I can gauge. I can gauge the calories I'm burning. I can gauge the strokes I'm taking per minute or whatever it is, you know, the amount of uh, meters it goes or feet or whatever. And it shows me these things. But I am only concerned with the strength of the pull and how the uh, chain records that and the time I'm logging. So there's one other thing, but that's less important, the calories burned. Seven and a half minutes into it, I had my goal. I knew I was getting toward the 10 minute mark. And at 10 minutes, seven and a half, two, two and a half, five, seven and a half, uh, <coughs> I broke it into two and a half minute doable chunks and I'd get to that 10 minutes. But at, the ten, but at the seven and a half minute mark, I was telling myself, I, I can probably get to 20. If I just get to that 10 minute mark and do it over again. And imagine that I'm just starting from zero, just like I did. I went from zero to 10 so I can go from 10 to 20. Then at 12 and a half, I was, you know, I noticed 12 and a half and I didn't really pay much attention. But then I started to think when I get to 15, I can call that a reset button. And from zero to 15 is a reset of 15 to 30. And there's my normal workout. So I steeled my, steeled my resolve to do that. And then... When I got to 17 and a half, I saw 20 coming up and I knew I was almost from 0 to 10 and then 10 to 20. And I had already committed to the possibility that I would do the 15 to 30, right? So when I got to 20, I knew that I only had one more repeat, not of 15 now. I only had another repeat of 10. And at 22 and a half... I knew I only had three more two and a halfers to go. And then 25, I was looking to two more of those and 27 and a half. And then I got to 30. And because I this was my first time back, I was a little bit below my normal amount of calories burnt. So I just decided to fill out the remainder after my 30. So I would get to what I considered to be a passable, acceptable low end of exactly what I was doing even before I left six weeks before. And I, I, I did it. I went beyond my 30 <clears throat> and I pulled until I had my calories at that level, according to the machine. It was incremental. I paid attention, I followed my baby steps forward, and I actually allowed my goals in baby steps to overcome that feeling that I had made a pact with myself at the very beginning. This is tough, I'm only going to do the bare minimum. 
and it felt great. I want you to, I, I hope this helps you. <clears throat> I have laid out in my program for what I teach online, I have laid out a substantial series of incremental baby steps goals to build a big picture. And we all know that we get in our own way. And we all know that we can give ourselves baby step incremental goals from thing to thing to thing. And we need to give ourselves permission to just plain overcome whatever negative talk, whatever feeling of less than, and we all know that if we can manage to find someone whose method can give us bite-sized chunks that we can gradually repeat, like the strokes I have to take on my rowing machine in order to get to two and a half minutes each time. <clears throat> we will get there. It's not only about action, but without the action, ain't nothing gonna happen. Theory must be translated directly into substantive action. Speak soon.